Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here. What I got for you today is another flight of the DM007 Spy Quadcopter. But I don't know if you notice it, it's been slightly modified uh, with this thing on the tip here. What I've done, and you can do this too, it's very easy. These uh, On eBay, they sell a lot of these uh, wide angle lenses, particularly for cell phone cameras. Uh, they're easily attached to devices such as a cell phone or this particular quadcopter by placing by this metal washer that uh, comes with paste on one side that you paste to one side of or to the lens of your camera and the lens itself the wide angle lens has a rare earth magnet attached to it that grasps grasps <laughs> onto that uh, washer so it's easily attached easily removed uh, when you remove it you slide it off don't try to pull it off uh, directly but uh, that's what I'm going to do today. I want to demonstrate uh, the stock camera with this wide angle lens. You can find these on eBay. Uh, they run anywhere from 99 cents for the plastic models, plastic wide angle models for cell phones, up to about $7 for a kit that comes with three different lenses like this one here. Uh, there's three different lenses that I got, a macro lens, a halfway wide angle lens, and this is the highest order wide angle lens. What do they got on here? They call it the fisheye lens. It's really not a fish eye, but it, it's good. It's good. And I'll, I'll demonstrate the difference too. I'll activate the camera and attach, uh, pull off, and uh, then reattach the wide angle lens to show the difference uh, in view that you get. So let's go for a flight. Okay, the camera's recording. What I'm going to do is remove the lens to show you the difference here. This is the wide angle lens view, and that's the standard uh, lens of the camera. So let's put the wide angle back on to show you the difference again. Wide angle and normal camera lens. Okay, let's go into a flight. Let me center that lens. Quadcopter's already bound. Enjoy your flight. Now, I'm going to have to try to concentrate keeping the side of the antenna pointed at the quadcopter. Let's go around one time around the uh, park here. The flying facility. <laughs> the dry lake bed. Okay, I'm holding, I'm actually pointing the sides of the uh, antenna at that quadcopter. And it doesn't seem to help much, this uh, three-quarter wave-like antenna. I lost, I lost signal there, if you noticed that. So I'm not particularly impressed with their uh, extended range. I'm getting only a range of about, uh, here, I'm going to point the tip of the antenna at it and see if that changes it. Nope. I'm only getting a range of about 70 meters with this thing. So I'm going to go in there and replace that antenna entirely. I don't like that. But this is the wide angle lens. Maybe I got a defective antenna. <laughs> See that? <laughs> there goes the lens. I saw it pop off. So that was an interesting flight. That lens is heavy, by the way. But I was only getting ranges at about 70 meters, so I don't like that at all. I'm going to see what I can do to modify that antenna in here. Maybe put on an actual dB antenna, 5 dB. Okay, I'm going to turn off that video. Going back to green, so that recorded. <laughs> By the way, these uh, skids, they, they just pop off in a crash. You can pop it back on. But that's the uh, uh, flight. The wide angle lens came off. I <laughs> hope you enjoyed that flight. Let's see how it turned out on video. If it's, if it's good, I'll put it up on YouTube. Okay, Quadcopter 101 signing out.